Last time on Dragon Ball Universe 13, our intrepid heroes, the Starbound Wanderers, were called to the spaceport of Tohinga as there was an attack being formed on that place. After a quick side trip, trip to battle with some intrepid Lamaxian warriors, they went to the spaceport and found the Twin Fangs. Goober got into a one-on-one -on -one confrontation with his father, Lentaru, while the rest of the team fought with Selder, Rantalu, and Pastanak, along with some Cybermen that came, al came along. Carrick was able to free Selder from his mind control, but Rantalu remains enthralled by the sinister Pastanak. During the middle of battle, Pastanak suddenly stopped, trained her gun on Lentaru, and fired, dropping him to the ground dead. And then, in her rage, she screamed out how much she hated Goober and his entire family, including his mother. This was enough to set our Saiyan warrior over the edge and allow him to become a Super Saiyan like Rabe and Roma. <sighs> Defeat the treacherous Pastanak, valiant warriors of righteous fury. There we go. <laughs> okay, so I got that part. Alright, so what we've got going on here now, and let me get let me get the um, music here in the background. If he only had just done what he was told, this wouldn't have come to this! But no. What a useful tool that fool was, but his time is done! I've had enough of him. I've had enough of you all. I've especially had enough of that little creep, Rantaloo. You have no idea what I've had to put up with from him! But at least... At least... You could have been of use to us. You could have been of perfect use to the Saiya Imperium, but no. If you had just done what you're told! We could have done so much good for the Imperium. But no. He couldn't stop talking about his wife. Couldn't let her go. No matter how much we were together. Well, now he's dead. And I don't give a damn that you've reached this level of power, Goober. Because in the end, you're always going to be like your father. You'll fail just like he did. She done talking? Yes, she is. And let out the loudest roar of anger he has ever let out. The primal fury is flowing through Go Goober. As just, like, he is overcome by his own righteous anger. And it should be noted that. Since there has been a lull in the battle, and especially in your case, Goober, because of this sudden surge of energy that has come from shattering the barrier, all of you are now fighting effectively at level 9. Uh... Right. Now, we're not going to uh, waste any time here with going through, like... Level, levels for uh, statistics and whatnot for uh, skills and everything. Uh, ba basically, the most important thing for you all is the uh, increase to like base attack bonus 
and that your health and stamina is replenished. You're basically have gotten got a second wind in the middle of this ba battle, uh, thanks to a little bit of a rest and also because of just the levels of energy that your friend is giving off is kind of inspiring you all into combat. So, yeah, all of you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so your base attack bonuses are all going uh, for the key masters. You now have like a base attack bonus of six uh, at this point. Well, Goober is going by the uh, super warrior rules on there. Attack bonus. Yeah. So. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, I am. I am working on uh, making sure Keely's stuff is in order because until Geek shows up, I will be playing as. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, stamina, resolve, all of those are back up to full for all of you. Uh, hey. Selder, I'm going to leave still as injured as he is, um, just for narrative convenience on here. Uh, Rantalu is still injured. Uh, Pastanak is not really that dan that uh, damaged, so I'm going to leave her as it is. And of course, Rabe and Roma both have hit their second wins as well uh, as a ma as a matter of battle, uh, because simply because again of the inspiration. So, uh, yeah, but mechan mechanically we're not going to deal with all the nitty gritties of the levels. Just know that you are effectively fighting at level 9 for this combat. Uh, of course, you only have two fighters to contend with, so I imagine this fight will be over with pretty doggone quickly. Uh, the other thing to note is that I'm keeping your initiatives as they were uh, on here. So everything is staying much the same uh, on here. So we are coming back around and starting off with Goober. I think if you if you want to know how Goober is looking right now, his fists are clenched to the point that might there might be some blood spilling out, considering he might have cut through the glove. He's just looking down at his at his dead father, and as he looks back up, his eyes are kind of pupilless for now. Don't even have the bu the blue pupils. He has as he's looking at Pastanak. Yeah. Kind of, kind of in, some kind of, some somewhere, kind of a lesser form of Super Saiyan Ikari, shall we say? Uh, the Super yep. Saiyan Rage form. This, it's just the mediator between Super Saiyan and that form he's always taken. Yeah, but most definitely in a somewhat solid, in a solid Super Saiyan form. Uh, to the point where Rabe, Rabe, you can, Rabe over there is kind of, she's got a very proud and happy smile on her face. You plastic, I'll kill you and make sure there's nothing left. Going to burn eight key points to do after image. Okay. Going to make sure she has no way to run away from him. As he appears behind her. All right, so yeah, I do believe uh, Pastanak does get a save to dis to try and disbelieve this. So let me roll her will. Damn it! All right, she. Wait, let me see. My con is seven now. Let's... My class level. Let's have my class level of eight. Well, since you are since you are a super warrior, you are also manifesting a level higher uh, on on your powers there. So, so I think she might have failed. All right. 
Past- he thinks I'm still there. Yeah, Past- Pastanak has... Alright, as far as Pastanak is concerned... You're- as far as Pastanak is concerned, you're still right here. Break you. Like a Kit Kat bar. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what? Breaker's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, that most definitely does does hit on there uh, for a total of thirty six points of damage on there. Um, yeah, she. Yeah, that uh, pierces through her. That uh, manages. Or, uh, actually, no, that's 28 points of damage. Never mind. I was looking at the attack roll. Silly me. <laughs> um, so, minus, minus 28 points of damage. Um, she's, yeah, she's definitely takes it solidly. Um, lo looks like, yeah, it, she definitely takes it solidly on there. And it's just kind of grimacing on there and looking at you with the most hateful eyes you've ever seen seen in your life. Aside from your own. Right now. She, she's just matching your rage with anger of her own. She's going to shift back a little way to kind of clear out some room uh, between you and her. Okay. All right. And let me see what I want to do here. If Space Warrior gave me DR <laughs> or not. Yeah. The initial transformation gives me a plus 10. All right. Um yeah, while while she's uh while she's moving there she is going to uh, leave leave a holographic clone of herself right there. Romeo will save, will you? This is because of my super saiyan rage. Uh, well, yeah. Well, Ro Romeo uh, will will save on there. She can create two uh, holographic images on on there that pretty much acts as it as a mirror image of herself um, yeah with with that I am going to say that you see her lay down the mirror image uh, on, on there but I'm not gonna lay it down on the field because you can just kind of see it rippling a little a little bit and you realize you realize that she's you realize that she's laid some kind of illusion down there give me a give me a perception check here ooh something i'm good at all right you you see okay i am going to lay down down an image on there because here's what happens she lays down a hol holographic duplicate right there. And you know that it is a hologram. But you have no idea where she's gone. Yeah. Improved improved initiative. Yeah, that that'll That'll bump you up to right after Pastanak here is what it, what it's gonna do. Okay, yeah, Carrick, Carrick, that'll uh, bump you up to right after. Yeah. So yeah, um, what we got going on here is you know that there's a holographic duplicate down on the field. You just do not know where she is. Um, she's stepped out of stepped out of there and. 
You see the rippling on there. You know that she's trying to trick you. You just don't know where she is. Carrick. I'll find her. Carrick. Shout to Carrick that I, like, Carrick, don't let her get away. Last time. I'm sorry, ask that again, Timeline. Didn't I lock onto her last time with my AI? All right. Um, yeah, give give me a per, give me a perception check. All right. You did lock onto her, but you seem to have lost targeting. You sure? Oh, I was trying to roll computer check on the joke, but it didn't roll. Anyway. All right. What was that computer's check for? It was supposed to be as a joke, because, like, am I sure I, I my computer locked off, lost it? But all right. it didn't roll very quickly, so it didn't really... Yeah. Um, anyway. All right. Your computer, your computer is in fine work. What you can tell from that is that your computer is fine, fine working order. It just cannot lock on to Pastanac right now. As I was saying, it was more of a joke roll. Yeah. Um, but we do still have... Uh, we do still have... This boy. Uh, kind of... Slap him. Slap him. Slap him. <laughs> Activate it on his face. All right. As you as you make contact with him, roll me a computer's check. Yeah, as you make contact with him, you deploy that uh, that uh, little thing that you implanted into the gauntlet of your mech, and it sparks and crackles, and that little lipstick print like mark on his cheek just shatters. So, he is going to get to roll a will save here to see if he knows what the fuck is going on. Um, he's starting to come around a little bit. Um, he is starting to come around a little bit on here. Uh, but with that roll, it's not quite enough for him to be able to act on this turn, so he is effectively stunned. Yeah, he is, he's, I mean, he's trying, he's starting to come around, but he's just kind of looking around like, whoa, what's going on? Am I dead yet? No? Darn it. Hey, pass the snacks with trade you. What? What the hell? Wait. Why is Linter on the ground with a hole in his chest? Past the next shot him. And I didn't get to see it? I mean, I'm really sorry that he's dead, but... What? 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 Oh! Hi, Goober! You look good in gold! Oh, he's doing nothing. All right, yeah, he, he's kind of stunned. He's kind of stunned and confused for right now. Uh, Achilles. 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 Um, the lies, my boy. Is going to try to use a perception check to see if he can find, uh, if he can find Pastanac. He, he's just kind of searching around with his senses on there. And all of a sudden, he, he just kind of turns around and look looks to his right a little bit. And he's like, there you are, you... There you are, you bitch. And what he's going to do is lock on to her. A actually, what he's going to do is he's going to throw out his... Uh, He's going to throw out his prehensile tail. 
And miss. He does have reach with the uh, prehensile tail, especially in this form. Um, okay. He he has he has kind of gone. She's right there, there, and lashed out with the uh, lashed out with the tail. But as Pastanac fades in, she just kind of dodges deftly out of the way. Roma kind of sees Pat, kind of sees how Rantalu's acting. Looks at Pastanac. Cracks her, Jeez. cracks her knuckles. Fine. All right. Her is gonna announce that she is his after he, she's been pointed out. <laughs> well, then let me knock her over to ya. And she's gonna zip around, around over here. And she is just gonna, just gonna try and straight up bull rush her over there. So strength check. Uh, oh. And past the next, just like, and pa past the next, just kind of puts a force field out in front front of her, and Roma just goes Psh! straight into it. Ah, son of a bitch! Play. Front All right. Oh, did I? Oh, Robbie. Robbie's Robbie's not in the order apparently. Um, but I think she was. Roma. Yeah, I, I think she was like. Um, yeah, I, I I I think she was like after Zelda in the order. Yeah. So four. We'll just go flat four there. Uh Selder on there. Uh sees what's going on. He's gonna go ov over to uh Rantaloo and it's like Look kid, you gotta get yourself together. This bitch just killed our boss And it pissed our boy off real good. We gotta get, we gotta get things together, so we can head back to your mom and let, to his, to his mom and let him know what's going on, okay? And he, he is basically trying to be the most professional, like the most professional, professional and very soldier-like that he's ever been. So he is going to give Rantaloo. A plus two bonus to his next will check to just try and come back to his senses. Robbie, help your sister. <laughs> if I don't kill her, I don't think Goober's gonna accidentally, Goober might accidentally hurt you guys. Robbie is going to uh, come over and just kind of try to. Uh, Throw her back with a good solid key bolt. Try to throw uh, past the neck, back your way with a good solid key bolt. 19 is not going to be enough to cover her energy AC. So past the, again, past the neck manages to put up, put up kind of a little bit of a electric barrier there, and Rabe's blast just dissipates against it. So the good news is, no one besides Goober has actually been able to do damage damage to uh, pass yeah, the Goober yet. doesn't have to go berserk and accidentally kill someone. Yeah. Three Goober. <laughs> Boy. Alright, and this, after, oh, this after image fades there. Uh, Alright. Okay. Am I cur am I flanking within? No, wait. I should probably go up here. That'd be flanking. Yeah. Go. <laughs> He's gonna be over here for a while. He's gonna be in the corner crying. <laughs> here, put his dad on him. Put his dad on him. Oh. All right. Key points, flurry of goober. Let's do this. All righty. Eh. 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 
Okay, so that's two hits there. All right, so... 52 points of damage plus the additional 11. All right, so yeah. I would that. Come. Down. Yeah, she. You just fly up to there in a dead, dead rage, rage, and as you're coming in, just boom, boom, straight up, and then you kind of chase after, after her a little bit, and just, and just, bop her with a, with the elbow on the back there, and she comes crashing, and she comes crashing. I'm gonna give her an acrobatic save to try and get back onto her feet she doesn't fall flat she has to kind of twist herself around and kind of land and kind of lands with her knees bent and comes back up standing up upright but oh. there's blood coming out of her mouth now there's a big bruise on her cheek now, right next, right next to that beauty mark that she has on there. There. Ember is just looking down at her. He's just like, away oh, like the coward you are. You're dying by your own feet. She looks and she looks up, sees that she's surrounded there, surrounded there, sees that the only person that she had left on her side is now kind of dazed and trying to wake up from her reverie. And what she does is, she, um, as a bonus action, she reaches out from her pouch and grabs, grabs. Uh, something on there looks like kind of a little credit card sized thing she holds down her thumb onto it and she says SSJ macaque one to beam up immediately we're done here stop this can I, I try to intercept uh, that as like a reaction or something I will allow you both to try to roll something to intercept Attempt to scramble the signal to like stop her from teleporting away. Her arm. All she's hearing on the other end of the line is static. I break Sorry. her arm. <laughs> I'm set, I'm set, set, I'm putting my AI to scrambling the signal so that she can't call for backup or anything. <sighs> fucking hell and with that roll there for the intercept what happens is you kick her up into the air up into the air she's already knocked out and you just your arm just char you just start charging up energy on there and it's a huge Super energy blast Galaxy. And your energy goes straight out into straight out into her. And as the blast passes and the dust clears, you don't see her body. Okay. Uh, so, uh, GM, I have a question. All right. About Super Saiyan saying, if I kill the enemy that sparked the rage, I have full control of it. All right. Well. Okay. Karak, you've rolled a perception check, and I'll address that after Goober rolls his perception check. Okay. <laughs> goober 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 as far as as far as you're concerned you completely atomized her so as far as you know you did kill her carrick 
you did notice that her bot that her body did cease vital functions and yet at that particular moment your hacking of the teleport ended and her body was transported mother fuck <laughs> now here's the thing though she did die before she was teleported so all they teleported was a dead was a dead body so she did die which means goober you do have full control over the super saiyan form as a result especially considering that from your perception you did in fact kill her and that's you 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 atomize from your perception you completely atomized her from carrick from carrick's perception she did die but her body got transported So what your computer role did was block the teleport just long enough for her to be for her her to die and then her remains were teleported away. We're going to get a pass the mecha snacks, aren't we? We'll see. Oh. The big Getty star, no. Uh uh since since we are uh out out of combat here um, I am going to clear the order here and the first order of business that we're going to take care of is that last will save that Rantaloo needs to do in order to wake the fuck up and he has some bon bonus he has already a uh, plus two to the roll from Selder would anyone else like to help him I guess I'll, I'll try slap him in the back I'm just gonna walk up to him while still super sad. I'll, 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 I'll let you use uh, any of your social related skills like uh, diplomacy, intimidation, and in Selder's case, I actually let him use uh, profession. So it, it so you uh, can you can talk to him from within your professional standpoint to try and uh, get him to. Uh, a moment. Yeah, to try and get him. To right, I'm gonna him. roll intimidation. Uh, can I roll? I have to roll. Okay, so that's a plus four to his will check now. Um, like I said, for you, for you, uh, Carrick, you can use I, any of your social skills, or you can use, uh, you can use uh, your profession skill. Which profession? Like disc jockey. Yeah, like like basically you can kind of you could yes, actually disc jockey would be perfect for this because we got Selder talking to him on a professional le level trying to get him to snap snap out uh, as a matter of duty. We got Goober basically going, "Look, dude, just wake the fuck up, okay?" <laughs> and then we've got you playing him a calming song to Play, play, playing him a calming song to get his mind into the right space. So, no int. I'm awake. I'm alive. Now I know what I believe inside. It's the class. It's the classic say Imperium song. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I have the so songs I may end up playing, depending on how how well I roll. Playing. Plays on a high roll, a high roll, brass painting music on a low roll. <laughs> <laughs> Through the fire and the flames, we're happy trees. Okay, so. Okay, so w with that, Rant Rantalu is getting a plus six to this will save to snap out on it. Uh, on there, and yeah, that that will definitely do that so he he is no longer stunned there he's he's just he's um just kind of waking up here and rantaloo is rantaloo is like oh 
Oh, 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 well. <laughs> um, is that is that an unpowered up goober over there? <laughs> yeah. It, 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 uh, if you want, you, since you have full control over this goober, if you want to, you may end the transformation at any time. I'm probably ending the transformation, considering this is killing my key. Yeah, I mean, uh, it is it is draining your stamina as it goes, which is part of its ner uh, ner nerfing ability. Um, Rabe, Rabe is just right right over over there with you as soon as, as soon as you power down. Just gives you like a great big hug, hug and goes that was awesome <laughs> and, and Rantaloo's like w waking up it's like huh I never thought that Bob Ross would match up with heavy metal before but you know that makes sense <laughs> <laughs> the Bob Ross of the fire the back you. of the head ow I'm awake stop ahead Oh no! I'm grabbing him by the coat, and I'm just looking him dead in the uh, in the eyes. Like there are so many things I want to do to you after what happened today. Come on, kid. You know bad. we you know he wasn't in his right mind. Well, more so than usual, at least. I think Goober's just like still giving him this look of like. <laughs> I mean, come on, Goober. You you know you're the dead. Dragon, you know you're dead. Where are your dragon balls? I mean, would you let me go first? I mean, come on. You know Lantaro is like a father to me too. Especially since I don't. I'm down. Especially since I don't know who mine is. is letting him go. Right. Zelda! And he go, looks over to Zelda and is like, um, you still had the case with the Dragon Balls in it, right? Well, I didn't leave it with that bitch, if, the, if that's what you mean. And he goes out and t takes, um, takes, he, d he did manage to, uh, bring the case with him. Um, Okay, so one, four, two, and seven is what we've got now. So, what we give me a second here. Uh, question. Yes. A culture check to see if I know how many uh, wishes these dragon balls will give. Well, g give me a moment on that because that will be addressed here very, very shortly. First, I've just got a. Dragon Balls yet. This signature. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Directly. We've got between the two of you. Um, we do have all seven. All seven Dragon Balls. Here. Correctly though. All right. One, three, seven, five, four, six. Two, one. Rise, Almighty Shenron. You notice when you say that nothing happens. <laughs> Fortunately, flying in uh, from off in the distance is uh, is a uh, Countar. Along with Pomatia, Alsperza, and Helsid. High intelligence. Would I be able to... I don't remember if there was uh, bonus languages for intelligence in this. I... I believe there is. Yeah, I, I believe I believe that there is, since it is uh, derived from Pathfinder. So probably wouldn't know uh, 
Lamaxian, seeing as a bunch of my teachers were Lamaxians in the school, as well as Fraguji and Space Warrior, if they're not just different, the same as common. You, you would know modern Lamaxian. You would not know ancient Lamaxian. Like 20 until... No. But um, Counselor comes, comes in and sees that you have all the Dragon Balls on there. And he goes... So, are we, is everything oh is everything taken care of? Well, uh, Oliver just points to the debt to his father's corpse. Oh, I'm betrayed by another what by uh the people. Then she then Goober killed her just before her body was teleported away to some place. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, but I am glad to see that the uh, seven balls are in proper order here. Uh, very, very glad to see that we now have those in our possession again. Tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, I, I realize that I realize that since he was your relative, any point points to Goober, that it is probably rather painful that he is no longer with you. What I'm going to do is I am going to summon our dragon. And I will permit you to have the wishes from our great dragon, Ghidorah. How many wishes are we talking about here? Well, let me show you. Um, he explains to you all the rules for the eternal dragon, Ghidorah. Uh, Ghidorah, of course, can only grant uh, wish wishes that uh, Kaltar himself would be able to grant. Uh, that means no immortality, no class features, and no instant level ups uh, on this. Uh, Ghidorah, can Ooh, wish Ghidorah does have the ability to wish people back to life. Mechanically, there's a twist to this because... Um, I have that reincarnation table. I really want to use it. So I am going to flip a coin. And uh, depending on the result, I'll have you call it. Uh, depending on the result, it will either be a resurrection, which means full restoration as they were when they died, or a reincarnation, which means there's a very real possibility that Lantaru could turn into a Cyberman. I mean, that's my mom. <laughs> um, now, there are three wishes uh, on here, uh, each one, and uh, there's a very important reason why there are three wishes on there. You'll see why once the dragon is summoned. Um, Ghidorah is well aware of the amount of resources that are available on Tohinga, so they will not give you more advanced items uh, simply because you can just go back and talk to Amethyst or buy from any other store that's on Tohinga. Uh, once the wishes are granted, the balls will shoot out away and go inert for one Tohingan year. And, of course, um, this is a major reason why Kaltar has not been following you around. If Kaltar is killed, Ghidorah is also destroyed. Uh, okay, it makes sense. Um, so, so, uh, Count Kaltar goes over to the balls and he raises his hands and he says Harodig Hesira Tnaget Sesi Fall Esult Ohwe Eva Nevorb Sevles Met Yitro Yitelb Esselb And with that the balls start glowing so what do each uh okay um you know what that means well uh, I'll, I'll i'll give you the secret of what's going on with that after this because i don't want to give that away quite yet but we were asking i'm getting my life together <laughs> but as the balls are glowing you see up 
coalesces a massive three-headed dragon the likes of which you have never seen before in your life with eyes glowing bright crimson three massive heads two massive tails giant wings just standing on the ground near the balls and it says and I wish I could have set up like some kind of vocal effect for that so I could stack my voice on top of each other for this We are the eternal dragon, Ghidorah. Whatever you desire, if it is within my power, we will grant it. Make your wishes and use them wisely. Gooper is like whispering to Kanak, should we wish for Earth? And for, should we wish for the location of Earth after we wish for my dad to come back? Who's the fun of that? I'm pretty sure a lot of people would love to know the location of Earth. Do Lord. Nobody has to look for it anymore. Hold it, hold it. <clears throat> Almighty Ghidorah! Yeah. And one of the heads turns to look at you and goes, Yes? The wife of my father went to return to, to the living! And his eye, and the, le the leftmost head from your perspective's eyes glow. Call a one or a two. I did not hear what you called. I asked for two. Two? Okay. Flip a D2. Helps. Helps if I put in the command properly. This is going to be a reincarnation. As opposed to a red, and now he resurrect. and now he reincarnates. Now he reincarnates as the vegetable he was named after. So, for those of you, for those of you who are watching on on Twitch on here, you can see what I've got in front of me, and I am going to show this to my player as well. Here is our reincarnation table. I'm going to roll a d20. Whatever we get on this ends up uh, being uh, what. Lintaru is reincarnated as. There is a very He's... real chance that he could become a Cyberman. For the sake of mercy, I will say that if you end up having one wish left over that you do not decide what to do, you can opt to roll the dice on this again. That's if you still have the third wish left over. So, well, it should be like all three of us get one wish. Like, Uber gets one wish, that's what he's doing to be doing that. I get one wish, then Takala gets one wish. Uh, well, if we did that right now, basically, I would be making the third wish for you, and I don't think that's fair to you guys. We could just, uh, like screenshot this in time, and then whenever uh, Kelly gets on, we wish for blah, 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 and retcon it in. Well, yeah. if anything, I, I would probably have wished for like the location of Earth. Yeah. Well. Okay. Well, I mean, we pretty much had know what two of the wishes are going to be. The only one that's up in the air is that third one. And again, I have given you a solid option in case this roll goes no, I... sideways. So, remember, it has to be within his power. So you can't wish for anything that you think would be fun. All right. So, let's see what we got. What's an eight? What's an eight? What's an eight? Oh, he's Le a... Le oh, Le no. Le Le Lentaru's body glows with energy. You see eyes snap open, 
And then when the glow passes away, you notice he's a lot greener than he used to be. Any more? He has become a Lamexian. He is now a Nameke. He is now a Namekian. He's got no dick. I mean, this is technically punishment for what he did with... With, you know, who. Yeah. <laughs> he... Yeah, he is now a Lamekian. Again, it, for the third wish, if you want to, you can roll the dice on that again. Uh, but... I'm to be a... For, or not a... To be a... The, a space warrior? <laughs> the the, le the left mo most uh, head... His eyes, his eyes fade out from going red and goes, "Your wish is granted." And the middle, and the middle one goes, "Now state your second wish." Dude, yeah, I gotta deal with the fact my father is a Glamaxian. One. Like, mind if I take this one? You can take it. Uh. What was the dragon's name again? G Ghidorah. Ghidorah. Great and mighty dragon Ghidorah. Can you make me ten times as intelligent as I am currently? That is beyond my power. Intelligent as I am currently. Okay, basically <laughs> that's the same response. <laughs> I, I, I I would like to I would like to remind you. That when I was going over the rules, stat ups and level ups were right out. You said the level ups. You didn't say anything about stat ups, so that's that. But the stat ups mean the same thing. Yeah, but, 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 but they, uh, so I just ba 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 basically, th this is a little different than just like a wish spell here. Um, the the the. I mean, this is the same reason why I said that he cannot manufacture things that can be very easily found uh, by you guys as well. Because I, I specifically created the rules for Ghidorah so that you would not be able to just power level using him in some way. I, I had to nerf him somewhat because otherwise he would basically be a deck of many things, and I do not ever want to have a deck of many things. Uh, would the ability to to control technology that I myself build with my mind be okay? Basically, right. I'd have to build it in order if I want in order to control it with my mind. I, I I'm all right. Hang on a second because. I'm thinking that he is actually a class V, a later class V, or or a uh, I uh, think or, or a uh, trick for uh, for uh, things. I, I I think I think that is a mechanical trick. So let me just let me just double check here. I'm sure. I don't remember seeing anything like that. Yeah, if and I'm I'm gonna double check here and if it if it is a trick or a class feat, I'm not going to allow it. Okay, yeah, I, j I just looked through the mechanic stuff and I did not see. Okay, a actually, hang on. The exo the exo -cor cortex, you ba basically you already have that with the exo cortex. With the exo cortex, you already have that feature. So I don't need to give you that because you already got it. Oh. <laughs> It should be it should be noted that I 
I'm not saying you have to do this by any way. I will go by whatever you end up picking up or doing on this. I had built this dragon under the understanding that I knew for certain that what two of the wishes were going to be. <laughs> And you, and one of the two wishes that I figured you were going to make, you did in fact make, and I'm really really glad that he ended up that he ended up turning <laughs> Cooper's dad into a Namekian. I mean, this is sort of karmic punishment for sleeping with another woman. I I will be charitable though. It didn't turn him into a dragon clan Namekian. He is Namekian. He is still warrior clan. Oh, right, that's good. Which, which, given... <laughs> He's no longer saying. So, I mean, if you want to think about that a little, little more, a little more uh, on that, you could save the extra one for the third, the third wish, unless you are going to be doing something completely different with the third wish as well. I I am very flex I am very flexible on these things just I am very flexible on these things and you've already done at least at least half of what I expected. All right, all right. Um M Mr. uh Idora? Yes. Can you just turn the Lamax the Lamaxian you uh, brought back from the light? brought back from life into a um a space warrior please John that all right all right what because I have to because I have to fucking explain to my mother about this I really don't want to she's scary when she's angry especially if I mention him you know with another woman for the sake for the sake of n narrative convenience what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the reincarnation roll with advantage. And if I get I if I get 14, 16, 14 through 16 or 20 on either one of those, huh? he will be a Saiyan again. I will tell you I will tell you this. Because we're doing this, I am absolutely not turning him into a Cyberman. However funny that would be. I'm not going to be that cruel. Ones. Unless you do, roll two ones. Arms of an angel. Okay, so... Eight. <laughs> 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 it's a hated race! Okay! <laughs> I have to see my father die twice. One of suicide, one of fucking getting murdered. <laughs> Please let me roll at least 120, please. Just let me just check. You know what? Yeah, look, six. You know what? Go ahead. <laughs> I got a 16. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> With my DMing style right now, I am very torn. Because on the one hand, I love the idea the absolutely hilarious idea of him coming back to life as a Fergusian. On the other hand, <laughs> I, I just like my thing. Like, is that not it? All you non-greens look the right, look the same to me. <laughs> is my is my dad back to a sand now? <laughs> he, oh, okay, here's how I'm gonna flavor this. Here's how I'm gonna flavor this. No, no, no! Fuck, let me fucking do it. The yeah. uh, the the the, the, dra the dragon with the center head. His eyes glow, and you see Lantaru pop pop. You know, Lentru just kind of pop into a different color of Namekian, kind of a bluish Namekian. He's like, wait, no, that's not right. Eyes glow. <laughs> Lentru glows. He turns into a Fragusian there for a, for a second. 
for a second and everybody's looking all awkward and it's like no no wait 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 hold on a second get give me a second i just Countar failed biology okay give me a second <laughs> turns into super saiyan fucking fix him the middlehead's eyes glow lentaru glows and he's back to life as a saiyan and thankfully Lentaru has just been there unconscious peacefully, definitely breathing and alive, but just unconscious. So he has not been awake for any of this. <laughs> okay. Um like Okay, we can probably buy whatever the fuck we want now, considering we're, we're famous. Let's essentially throw anything monetary out of the way. And, and the dragon's leftmost head, the one that's farthest to the right from your perspective, its head swivels around. It's like, so, sorry about my, sorry about my mid, sorry about my middle head. He's a bit of a dumbass sometimes. <laughs> <sighs> All right. For the location of Earth. I still think that's boring. The Earth. All right. Look at Kerrick. Like you do realize, we literally live the most exciting life any hum any person has ever existed. Honestly, I think boring's the fun solution. So is that your final answer for this wish? Mm. By the way, for those of you watching on Twitch, it, it should be noted that the sprite for this particular dragon was drawn by me. Which is why it looks like shit. It's okay. <laughs> Monetary gain, we have power, we have ship. Gain. As in credit. Mostly in his information and location. Wish for world peace, in which case, hallelujah. <laughs> that is that is beyond that is beyond not only the dragon's power, it's beyond my powers, the GM to create world peace. Because what the fuck kind of game would that be? Uh okay. Uh let's just wish for Earth Yard's location, and then we can, if anyone asks, we can sell it off for a good amount of credits. How about that? Think about it. We can get like a ship, we can probably get like a, f a lot of people to join us. You can upgrade your ship, get some mechanical stuff, you know. And stare it at me awkwardly. I, I am allowing you to make this. I am allowing you guys to make this decision here. I could, you know. Since I am technically playing Kikili until <laughs> I wish we were all I wish we were all yeah. pa Power Rangers. I actually did come up with a Power Rangers S type background for five E that I've wanted to test out at some point, but a five E uh, monk uh, path thing that's just based off uh, JoJo stands. 
see, we have... <laughs> Thank you. Well, If you decide you want to go on the boat, you can go on the boat. I will not complain. <laughs> if... <laughs> Flak shack and hookers. And I know you guys know what I mean by that. What I'm referring to with that. Don't. Um... Er er early part of the Sam's Sansa Salabam 102. <laughs> One of Stuart's kind of bugbears. Like, time, if you don't have anything, I can wish for something. What I am going to do here, though... Give me a second here is I am going to start a five minute clock. Okay. So you got five minutes to discuss this and decide what you want to do. When the timer goes off, I would like to know what you're doing. You can tell me before the time goes up, that would be fine too. I can't think of anything. I don't want to wish for the location of the Earth, because that's just boring. I, I will tell you I will tell you this, and I'm not trying to influence your decision with this. You say it's the boring option, but you don't know what you don't know what I would do with that. Because keep in mind I am <laughs> I am Ghidorah. I can take that wish to mean whatever I, I can take that wish to mean whatever the fuck I want it to mean. I, we would just know the location. We wouldn't know the safest route to get there. What happened to Earth? We have no idea if Earth has invaded by anything. Ice cream. from a pigeon god. Three minutes. Just had the stupidest idea that we wish for a larger penis. And we're saying this to a Lamaxian deity. What's up, penis? What's up, penis? <laughs> halfway point points in that head head of uh, that head of uh, Ghidorah is just like. You, 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 know, you know how whenever you wait a while in either a Dragon Ball Budokai game or in a Dragon Ball Z universe, if you just sit there without making a wish for a while, and the dragon just starts going, Um, hello? Get your wishes here. <laughs> that's, basically the, that's basically this head of Ghidorah right now. <laughs> I just want some form of, like, information about ER, considering we don't know shit about it. And I don't trust, and... Lo and be fucking hold, I do not tr Goober does not trust scientists. Trust inventors, but not scientists. Well, something interesting, and, uh... You find ER. 90 seconds? Less than, actually. What if we wish that points to where you want to go? 
So like you want to go find soup that points to soup. Uh, find ER that points to ER. Oh, you mean the th that um what the fuck is it? Jack Sparrow has that compass? Choosable instead of just whatever you want most. Just where you, ch you choose where it will point. You just like. Actually, I like that idea. Yeah. One minute. Mighty Dragon, uh, whatever your name was, because I keep on forgetting. Ghidorah. Ghidorah. <laughs> uh, make us a compass that will point to whatever, uh, that will lead us to uh, any destination we would like. His eyes light up. And in your hands... Lie, lies that particular device. And since you asked for it, Carrick, it is actually already integrated into your systems, uh, to your exocortex, so that all you have to do is think of a location and it will pop up with the coordinates. Cooper is like, Cooper jokingly walks, actually no, he's gonna walk over to Rabe. Well, it seems I found out that I was looking for. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to call the Omni Compass. All right. So yes, you you have the Both. you have the Omni Omni Compass. Mechanically, here's what the Omni Compass is going going to do. What it what it is uh, is since it's tied to you you Carrick, this is going to be tied to uh, your piloting skill since it involves navigation uh, and depend depending on the DC that I set for it, uh, you can actually chart specific courses to uh, planets. Don't I have one, or does he only have one? Uh, you asked specifically for one, so it is in character. Oh, okay. Hands. So he has one. Yeah, so mechanically it's tied into your piloting skill and tied into your exocortex, so all you have to do is think about a place and uh, it will calculate a route based on your piloting skills. So about your girlfriend's boobs. Now here's the twist on that. If it is going to a planet that has not been charted or that you do not already know the location of the DC will be much harder. Since you still do not technically know the location of Aarth, it is going to be a very hard DC to be able to find and navigate to it. To uh, take 20s by spending a lot of time on stuff? In this you can but it's not going to be a critical success want the 20 yeah like i said you can take tw you can take 20 on it from taking a significant period of time on on it to try and get the most optimal course it is not going to count as a critical success so it's going to go up against whatever whatever dc i come up with head on so but since that has been taken care of, and since all the wishes have been uh, taken care of, uh, all three heads of Ghidorah look down upon you and go, and go, your wishes have been granted. My work here is done. Farewell. And... Dis it, live, uh, it does the Spock hand thing. Yeah. Live long. <laughs> it di di disappears, and all... Seven balls fly off in various different directions. Strangely smacking Rentley in the face. Yeah, one of one of one of them kind of kind of flies low, low and, and kind of clips Rantalu's head as it goes goes by, and Rantalu's like, <laughs> "I almost died." Cool. He can heal, right? Yeah, he, he's got he's got healing abilities. Yeah, 
Uh, and, uh, of course, so does Pomatia. Uh, he has healing abilities as well. Um, I'm just going to ask him to heal, to wake up dead. All right. Okay, so... Yeah, all of you... While Carrick is trying to focus on the Omnicompass to try and figure out where Aarth might be in car and get the most optimal path to it... Uh, everyone is healed up, healed up, and wakes up, and Lentaru, he, he sits up, but he doesn't stand, and he just looks up at you, Gober, and is like, you have no idea how, how, how shitty I feel right now. I feel like my bot. I feel like my body's been through the ringer. I think, uh. Might have even lost my penis there for a moment. I, uh, or I might have been dreaming. I, I, I dreamt I didn't have a penis there for a bit. <laughs> I think I think Goober is just gonna like look the other t No, no, Carrick, no, no, sh 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Goober is just gonna like go the, to him. The fake like, you, the fuck you mean I turned green for a bit? Uh, it, it was something to do with the Lamaxian magic, you know? Nothing to worry about. Looks like Carol, like, shh. Okay, but listen, Dad. And the, the Phrygian. Till one for like five seconds. Bye. Walks away. Phrygian, <laughs> <laughs> you went into Lamaxian, a blue Lamaxian. Yeah, you're very fucking lucky that dragon decided to be nice to me. I don't know. I don't. I don't fucked, fucked up right good. I, I don't fucked up right good. So, so much here, Addy. I'll let. I'll let. Addy. I'll let that Pasternak bitch get in, get into my head, and my bed. Dad, dad, listen here, listen here. She's dead. Well, good riddance, I guess. I just... I just some ways... I wish I never met her, you know? I, I, I... To be perfectly honest, the Twin Fangs worked a lot better without her, if you ask for my opinion. But before that, and I'm gonna walk over, grab Robbie's hand, and then pull her back. Meet your step... Daughter or something? That's the term we use in marriage. Daughter-in-law? Me, daughter-in-law. Oh. Oh. I'm glad you're able to find so somebody, laddie. And, mm. and... R right now, actually, Robbie and Roma are, are, are not in Super Saiyan, but he's kind of looking at her with a little bit of key sense. It's like... She, uh, that last can go green. She, that that last can go green, can't she? I can go yellow. Wait, you can go. You can go yellow. Show me, lad. Just like, yeah. When you died, I kind of um, I lost myself for a bit there, and I turned super soon. What's a saying? Yeah. Face warrior. Yeah, no, you have no idea how how proud I am of your son. You found a good, you found a good lass. You managed to break through a barrier I was never able to get to. In many ways, uh, in many ways, in that... many ways, you're a better man, man than your old pa, than your old da. Goober kicks him in the face. Ow! Lay off! Lay off! That's what shooting me in the leg, you asshole. Now you better fucking be working on bringing back the twin fangs to the goodness that they used to be. Again. Well, I suppose the first part of that is... I'm gonna have to have a long talk with your mum. I think every part of you is probably gonna be broken. You remember the last time you brought a last into your bed? 
Well, or me. Well, I, I, I have many regrets, laddie. I regret not being a bet, better dad to you. <laughs> I, 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 I regret letting her into my head. It's... And I especially regret what we did that day. You were right. You were right. It was rotten from the start. Well, hopefully you can at least come to a wedding. And and Selder and Selder's over there is like, yeah. And um, we have a sneaking suspicion she might have been a mole for the Saiyan Imperium. And Lenteru, and Lenteru at that point, <laughs> points eyes just Look go wide. And, and Lenteru, whose eyes at that point just kind of go wide. She fucking what, mate? Right, can I, uh... That, uh... Uh, signal that I disrupted earlier, can I try and, like, do a backtrack to see, if, to see what it was from? You are currently engaged engaged in trying to, uh... In trying to locate and chart a cor course to Earth. I was going to do that once we get back to the ship. Oh. Okay, I, I will I will allow that on there. Go ahead and roll me a computer check. Um, you were you were able to uh, detect that it did warp into the drift. Um, it's extremely difficult to track a ship once it goes into the drift. Uh, so you don't know where its course is from there, but you, it, you, but it was more about just get the ship's ID number to see if it was say Imperium. Uh, but yeah, you do have you do have. In, in fact, um, I'm going to couple this with Goober giving me a culture check because you did you, you did hear her mention the the SSJ macaque. bonuses out because of my heritage exactly okay yeah i'm gonna say yeah bet a between the computer check and your heritage i'm gonna give you a plus five because ba ba basically um i'm gonna use a resolve point to re-roll that yeah can I'm, why is that can i roll a culture check well y yeah yeah you can um Okay, so we got a 21 and a 24 along with Carrick's computers check there. Uh, between, between you guys, you are able to uh, cobble together that the um, SSJ macaque is... The uh, SSJ designation is a, oh, it, it is a designation for, uh, for Saya Imperium vessels space vessels uh in and in particular the uh, ssj macaque is a part of a class of vessels that are known to be okay. used by the saya imperium's operative core also have this all right uh ace pilot i induced the dc of call checks regarding spaceships and yeah okay yeah um with that with that you yeah you know for absolute ah. certain that the class that the s what class of ship the ssj macaque is and it is a class of ship known specific to be used specifically by the uh, ssj by the saya imperium for secret ops for black ops um i'll you, you, this is what I know about this ship. Da da da, to everyone. Okay. So, you know that she was in league with the Sci Sci Imperium simply by the ship that she was on, the SS the SSJ Macaque. And Carrick, you know, and you share with the others that while you didn't detect any life signs on her, knowing that she is most definitely was most definitely dead at the time that her body was recovered 
and that the ship has already left Tohingan space. I probably fill everyone in on that. Oh my god, that explains so much now! God damn. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, feckin' hell. That's so why I literally suggested as a child we put mom in charge of second degree of command. But no, you had to use the pretty woman. Hey, not the woman who blew up a fucking starship because she got pissed. You know, laddie, this actually explains so much about that day. Now I know, oh. now I know why. Now I know why that entire what? mission was to go against that code of Fragusians. <laughs> Gilbert just puts a hand on his shoulder. They, they were using it. They were using us as black ops. We well, were kind of black ops. I mean, you did technically say the Twin Fangs are black ops before, but I guess they didn't really let go of us. I mean, we're a guerrilla resistance unit, not not a fucking not a fucking Tula, not a fucking Tula, the Psy Imperium. I can't, I can't even talk right right now. That's so. Uh, it's so flustered that uh, I can better speak. He's gonna like get back up. He's gonna look towards Selder and um, is is uh, technically his bro. I just realized something. Uh, what's up, Selder? I need you to send a message. I need you to take these two, take them back to the ship. Head back to the area and at, and message Muller to evacuate the area. Whatever happens, the Saiyan Imperium might be known of our location. Change it up, go to the secret areas. You know she's gonna wreck the shit out of me for this, right? Well, but fucking hell. I'm pretty sure a lot more people's lives depend on this more than your fucking ass. Oh, I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm not gonna do it. I'm just I'm just letting you know. Boy, am I Boy, she's gonna beat the shit out of me for this. And he's actually kind of smiles at that because now it seems like things have gone. It has it seems that things have gone back to normal. <laughs> Goober is just gonna like. It's just like that playful punch on the shoulder. Well, you two prepare for it. You you three get the hell out of here. I'm gonna at least announce to the that you technically were dead for a while and the Dragon Balls were used for uh, for our reasons. Technically, he's he's no longer a fugitive considering he's dead. And you two are out of the job. Before... Uh, Alright. Before we go, laddie. There is one more thing. It's been a few years since you left. You might see someone out there that claims to be your sister. She ain't wrong. You have a half sister. Uh, please don't say she's related to I know who. She might be. But, she's been kept away from all of this. She's still a wee lass. If you find her, take good care of her, alright? Me to take care of... Fine, I'll take care of her. I'll have to be a good brother for once in my life. I kept, I kept her father fuck away from her, from her mother, so... Her mother doesn't even know where she is. I never mentioned it to her. Not even in my most vulnerable moments. So, she should not possess any ill will towards us. In fact, if you find, in fact, if you find her, see if you can get her to your ma safely. All right. So let let's be honest here. 
Do you have a location of where she was last seen or anything? Anything at all? Uh, actually, yes, he does. And he does provide you um, the ex exact plan planet uh, and the specific safe house where it is. As previously mentioned, it's not one that is kept in uh, general Twin Fangs records, so it's not something that Pastanek would have had access to. At least as far at least as far as Lynn Taru knows. Rumor's half sister. <laughs> so Alright. So the three of them uh they decide to fly off. Uh to to their ship on there. Some time passes. Um, you're, you all are going to be back at uh, the scav at the scavenger at the ship at your respective ships, and you hear something special come on the news. It is a special report from ZTV Galactic. Ladies and gentlemen, I I am your ink. Yeah, I am your anchor. Anchor Corgi Welsh, with a very special breaking bit of news, coming, coming from, the coming from the station of Earth Seven. One of the probes sent out by the unaligned systems has located a planet in the far re reaches of the gal galaxy. And I'm going to switch you over to the galactic map here for a little bit. And, it, and the screen actually does also, um, does also show a galactic map here. Um, please excuse the drawing. I am terrible at drawing stuff. And what it says is that uh, the, sci the uh, probe beta out of, out of the probes that they have sent has managed to find find a planet on the far edge of the known galaxy. Galaxy. Uh, it is located at cord at coordinates three at coordinates three z x. And one one v y. If you don't know, if you're not familiar with the coordinate system, blame the stellar cartographers. This planet appears to be very bright blue with plenty of water, habitable to most life for forms, and about and with plenty of landmass on it. Scientists believe this to be to be the fabled planet AR. And then suddenly, suddenly, he puts his hand to his ear and he says, no. hang on a second. I've just gotten some special information here. I'm taking you live to the Supreme Kai? And the camera. Oh my God! Mayonnaise are gonna be shown on the television. And the camera flips over, and you see five Kai's kind of standing in a V V formation. You've got one that. God, it's mayonnaise. You've got one on the left hand side oh. that um, has kind of a kind of a creamish complex complexion and white hair on there. Uh, you have one on the other side whose complexion is a little bit more on the uh, pinkish re pinkish red side with a white mohawk. Um, you've got one on the uh, other side who's a bit of a deep, deeper red and his hair is kind of wild like Super Saiyan Goku style. Oh. Then, there, then there's one who's uh, on the other side whose skin is kind of kind of yellow yellowish and it's got kind of a 
kind of a rather classy side part uh, to their uh, to their white hair, and in the middle of them is a somewhat grayish uh, looking supreme supreme Kai with completely bald hair, completely bald head. <laughs> He's bald. Oh, but there, I mean, uh, that greet greeting greetings people of the of this particular of this particular galaxy and of universe 13 my name is supreme kai soy and here are my my cohorts the quadrant kais of this particular realm mayonnaise sriracha ketchup and mustard we've come to you because we have seen that you have finally located the fabled planet of aarth and we actually have something very special that we want to say about this. The planet Aarth is a sacred planet. We realize that you now know what it is, and we realize that many of you are probably going to try to track down this planet and take it for your own by force. That is something that we cannot allow. So, to that end, we want to declare that as that right now, Aarth is currently a neutral planet and will stay that way barring one particular condition. In two months time we intend to hold a tournament on the planet of Aarth that will decide this planet's fate and which of the many factions of this galaxy that it comes across. The four major faction, there will be four major factions competing in this tournament. The Cyan Imperium, the Fergusian Empire, and the Commonwealth of Allied Systems will have teams, but we will also pick a team of our own to represent the Kais and AR's neutrality. This will be fought oh. under legendary tournament rules. Four teams four combatants a 16 person elimination tournament for the fate of Aarth for more details on this I take you directly to the planet Aarth and the lovely Lady Reslin dear lady please take over the computers the screens switch over to show the very familiar angel and of course off to her side is everybody's favorite pigeon god of destruction as previous as previously mentioned this will be fought under under legendary tournament rules but there are a few key distinctions that i need to share with you all all first of all first of all of course this tournament can only be won by ring out submission or no knockout Though it should be known that uh, while many of the species of this galaxy are capable of flight, we are going to somewhat restrict that capability. There will be proximity sensors around, around the arena, so if anyone is to fly too high or to fly out of the arena proper, that will be consider, considered a forfeit. In addition, as mentioned by, by Supreme Kai Soy, the Kais and... Lord Givertz and myself have taken it upon ourselves to pick our own team. That team will be the Starbound Wanderers and one competitor of their choosing. They <gasps> so, if any of the factions were choosing to were going to try to pick any of these fine warriors for their team, well, I suppose you shall have to find other sources now, won't you? One other thing of note, no doubt some of you more militaristically inclined people will probably be inclined to uh, send people ahead of time to try and claim the planet by force before the time of the proper tournament. Should that happen, well, and she looks over to Giverts, who has a cone of mint chip ice cream in his hand, and says, Giverts, honey, would you mind doing the thing that we discuss? And Gavritz is like, do, do I have to do that? Cool. 
You know how I feel about mint chip ice cream cool? Look, we're trying to send a message to the people of the galaxy, and if you can't destroy, destroy your favorite flavor of ice cream, how are they going to know that you'll be a, able to destroy them if they violate the sanctity of this place until the moment of the tournament? Oh, you're right, cool. So, Giverts pull, puts up one of his wings up over the cone and sadly goes, Makai! Cool! And the cone of ice cream dissipates into nothingness. I believe our message has been sent. Two months, four factions, four warriors, this noble and sacred place. Will you be able to win this planet? Or will it remain as it always has been, protected by the Kais and isolated from those warmongering nations who would try to take it over? We'll find out in two months. Lady Reslin, signing off. Oh my god! That picked us! That picked us! Oh wait, we have to pick someone. And I, I will let you know that you do get a message um, direct, directly from... Um, you do get a message directly from uh, Givertz since you have been corresponding with him. It says, unfortunately, due to, due to uh, ma matters of balance and fair fairness... You cannot pick me. Cool. Ah. I I anticipate though. I I do expect though that you will make the right choice. Cool. Send him like a message like, hey, can you? Like, is there any possibility you can train me? You get a message back from Lady Reslin, and says, unfortunately, we are going to be stationed. Stationed on the off to make sure that nobody tries to sneak in for the time time being and that includes you We cannot make exceptions Oh, but what? Like okay, he's gonna send another message. Do you know a good place I can train? Since you are a part of te team Kai, I will send you the coordinates to the sacred world of the Kai's itself. I Expect you will not abuse this privilege I would, I would hate to have you lose favor with us. Because I love mayonnaise. I'm not going to try anything stupid. So, uh, by the by, the way, you notice uh, notice on Space Twitter that there is already a hashtag legendary tournament that's trending. Take four games. Are places like the Room of Spirit of Time available? And would you even know know of these? Um, we'll discuss that when it comes into discussing the uh, actual logistics of what goes on uh, at the plant and planet of the Kais in the meantime. Um, okay. um, the main thing is that um, right now you also get messages. Uh, Carrick, you get a message from Malvarmo. That message says... Oh, I'm, it looks like we're going to be on opposite sides of this, frowny face. Fuck, we can't pick her, can we? Yeah, the message that she sends says that she, Nego, and Yuki have been picked to represent the allied systems. Mm. Wait, who's the fourth one, then? The fourth member, actually, since you are still on Tohinga, actually comes up and introduces herself directly. Amethyst has joined the battle. Amethyst is on. Okay. Um. I don't partic I don't really like fighting all that much, but, but I have been selected, and I will not let that honor go to waste. And then Forge, right next to her, goes, Unfortunately, 
Unfortunately, I'll have to sit this one out, but I get to watch my mistress fight. That'll be fun. Hand on character shoulder, like, I think you got this one. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Just a little friendly competition loser has to do with <laughs> And her once. And she texts back. <laughs> and she texts back. When you lose, we get to do the tail stuff. Um, I need to do so. I, okay, how many messages do I get and from who? Uh, well, Robbie and Roma are are right there next to you, and Roma's Roma's phone actually goes off and it's like, okay, this is odd. Why does the Saya Imperium want me? The goober just like. Mm. I'll be honest. I'm after what we've seen going on here. I'm really rather conflicted. Ready? Then now I have to fucking fight my girl. This sucks. I didn't say Rabe. I said Roma. Roma. Never mind. Yeah. He kind of got to deal with that shit. Yeah. But, but it, it doesn't look oh, like they've got a full they've got a full team of four yet, so I mean I could reject them now. And they'd still have plenty of time to get get a group of four together. And 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 Rabe just goes over to her sister and goes, "You do whatever you feel is for, is right, sis." Personally, if it were me, after what the Imperium's done here, I don't think I could do it. Call high or low. Think on a D100. Blow. Robbie elects to reject the invitation. Roma will not be fighting for Team Saya Imperium. Yes! We still have one of our followers! So... The question here is, who do you want to train up as your fourth person? Goober kind of wants to see his sister, though. I mean, I mean, there, there's time for the for that in in between there. At the same, and keep in mind, your sister is still going to be a little kid. Uh, he, even considering, say, in genetics, she's probably not going to be fight. She's not going to be fighter shape. She's not a Gohan. Got it. Um, but still, I think like Goober is now obligated to go and vi to go and see at, le at least pick her up. Yeah. And you don't have to decide who you want to fight alongside you right now. Obviously, obviously, if Phoenix were still around here, that question would be a no-brainer. Um, but yeah, Rob, Robbie, and Roma are not are are free. Um, team team out. Super Let's genetically engineer a super Cyberman. Oh, we can't have Steve. Who the heck's Hex Helsid? Uh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. There's there's help. Helsid and um, uh, yeah, there there was Hel Helspit and a Helsid and a Spurza, uh, who were Namekian warriors. You you have a lot of options here because there's um, yeah, there's a Spurza, there's Helsid. You could go back and pick someone up off of her seven, uh, for perhaps. Oh. Um, 
Rabe and Roma themselves are, are free there. Um, and also, uh, considering that they definitely have no love for the Saiyan Imperium, especially now, you have any one of the surviving members of the Twin Fangs. You have, you have a Seldir, Rantalu, or Goober's dad, Lentaru. Oh, Lentaru can do enough damage like me, but he can't go Super Saiyan. Invited him, I know he would definitely enjoy the fight to entirely make sure he doesn't kill any of the say Imperium soldiers. Because I'm pretty sure the tournament rule is we cannot kill the person. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the legendary tournament rules are well known by everybody because it is a galactic wide legend. And uh, aside from that, all of, all of the major factions that are trying to build up have been sent, uh, you know, digital documents ab about what the rules are and are trying to build their team accordingly. Uh, uh, I want to no, wait. Because I, I strangely have this idea of, oh, if we go to the, um, Fregu not the Fraguzian Empire, where the Lamaxians live, because they're Dragon Balls, I could hypothetically bring back one of, one of the supers, the only enemy that can probably be a good choice to join us. Don't you? I was gonna go for this. I was gonna go for Nesco, but sure. <laughs> you mean Yamcha, the greatest warrior on Earth? <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, so th th there have there have been many to. Uh, there have been is not the same name, of course, it being a different universe. But part of the legends of Earth have told of long ago a uh, a. Uh, very very handsome and well endowed war warrior whose fists were whose fists were as furious as the bite of a wolf okay so i have i have three things i want to do on my on my list one of them is pick up my my little sis my half sister or my second thing on my list is to train with rave and roma to at least master super saiyan it begins, and my third list is to at least go to the Kai's and train. Yeah, and so, so my number one is making a. I want to design a customized uh, power armor for Carrick. Right, a little bit better than. I, I want to send a message. Power I want to politely armor. ask a message to Reslin about something. Go ahead. Ask if, um, like in terms of the Kai's world. Do they have anything that can assist me in mastering Super Saiyan? Rare. Yeah, because the Kai's are very ancient, ancient and very wise. Uh, they have a great, great deal that they would be able to teach you. They have various different things that they would be able to help you out with. That they have a lot of knowledge of their various different cultures. Uh, since mayonnaise is the Kai over the quadrant that the Saiyan Imperium uh, inhabits, uh, Mayonnaise in particular, uh, he is very, very knowledgeable about, uh, the, Sa about the Saiyans of this universe uh, and in how most effectively to handle them. And of course, you do know for, and of course you do have direct lines to him, not just through us, Spitter through a Twitter, space Twitter, but uh, keep in mind that you also know a priest of mayonnaise. Rant That's right. Rantalu is a Rantalu. While he definitely did skew towards the uh, more pain-inducing uh, sides of the mystic, uh, as per his idiom, uh, he is still. He is still a priest of mayonnaise. Ask, I mean, well, if I honestly invite him, like, hey, you want to go see mayonnaise with me? You mean? Wanna go. You mean? You mean I get to see my patron Kai firsthand? 
there's the thing, you gotta behave, and also you have to at least help me learn how to become a better fighter. Well, sure thing, bro! So, third thing off my bucket list has officially been done, because now I can visit the Kai's with someone who can help me train a lot faster. Yeah, I mean, you've got the... Ground, eh? Yeah. Yeah, and even if you don't... Even if you don't pick and ultimately pick them for the team, they are still going to be with you uh, for the duration of this, because, of course, they definitely want to get stronger. And Robbie, in, partic in particular, um, definitely wants to go up against someone else wants to sharpen her her uh her own uh Saiyan berserk powers against uh some against someone besides her sister who who is uh of that level of power. And I think actually right now we're at a good place where we can pause because uh we have left out of the Tohinga arc and we are starting to move into now the legendary tournament arc and all the side quests that are uh, involved with that and because well partially because of the length of time that we're dealing with and also uh, just because I, I want to help you all get up to speed a little bit fa faster on this when next we meet level up to level 10 so now we're level 10. So in, in your case, Goober, that would mean basic. if you want to, you can you can go into second level of uh, su of uh, Super Space Warrior, Super Saiyan. Um, I especially picked, I also uh, picked level 10 uh, because I wanted to make sure that uh, Hikili gets to reach his third form. become the predator, the alien, the xenomorph. Uh. Yeah. Get improved invasion. Oh, damn it. Oh, wait. I'm 10th. Oh, no, I'm 9th. <laughs> All right, so yeah, as far as far as uh, this thing's going here, yeah, we've managed to uh, you managed to defeat defeat and actually kill Pastinac, though of course her body is missing, so who knows what will happen with that. Uh, and now the sage is set for a four for a four way battle for the fate of planet Aearth where you guys are representing the gods and their will. So, what, what this means is I've got a lot of work to do because I have NPCs to create. Upside, Upside you just got to make a tiny little sand girl. Yeah, I, 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 I will also say this, though. Amethyst, for the first time in a long time, has received a message from her brother, Sapphire. That message is, I'm on team for Guzian. <sighs> and when we meet in battle, sister, I will finally be the better. So you know at least one combatant of Fergusian, of the Fergusian Empire. There might be two if we're maybe two if we consider that other guy with the sword. We'll see. And you know the entirety of team of team of team uh, allied systems. At the at the very least, you know one thing, one thing for absolute certain. Team Allied Systems is not going to try to kill you. 
them? That's the bigger question. <laughs> I pissed them off twice. No matter how mu no matter how angry Yuki might get, they're still not likely to kill you because keep in mind, they were trained at the same place you were. With the exception of Amethyst, but you've already met and befriended Amethyst. Technically, we're sponsored to her, so if she loses, she still wins. Yeah, I mean, I mean, ba basically, Team Allied Systems is going to be the Starbound Wanderers Krillin. It is going to be the friendly rival here. So, thank you all. Thank you, Time Lord and Omni, for joining. Unfortunately, uh, Geek was not able to uh, join us this time, but I have sent him uh information to let him know that uh we're all level 10 and that he is now a xenomorph uh, dun, 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 dun. all right you, uh, and and and, dun, 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 and yeah dun, dun, i will uh yeah i will de i will definitely allow you to uh to make the face <laughs> the face tree armor <laughs> Oh wait! Oh hey, if I actually went the second le the secondary level of this warrior, I would have got a plus one level existing class. The Mark One pastry armor. <laughs> the Mark One pastry armor. <laughs> All right, and yeah, uh, I will have a lot of work work to do because I have uh, leveling up of things to do and more NPCs to create. Why do I do this? I Why do I do this to myself? Oh right. Oh, you could oh. ask other people to make NPCs yeah. for you. Why? Why do I do this to myself? Oh right, I'm non-sexually masochistic. That's why. I want me to uh, roll some things as I make the pastry armor over the two months. Uh, yeah, that would be. Um, what skill? What skill do I want to have you roll for this? Engineering. Um, mayonnaise. Times. I I'm sorry. Ask that again. Well, times rolling it. Um, I'll I'll just have you roll it once for the sake of uh, wrapping things up here tonight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. W with that, you most definitely have everything that you need to have in that. In fact. Um, in fact, you are also able to, and you are also able with that to, uh, not only build the armor, but you are also able to safely re-implant the key capacitor and the, um, and the, uh, little stun module that you created. Uh, the electrostatic mark yeah, one? Yeah. You are able to re-implant those into the new armor as well. Do you learn anything from mayonnaise? Uh, give me a bit um, to see here on this, because yeah, I think since you are going with the guy gods, um, I am going to grant you a bonus key power here. Uh, in addition, hey Kaioken. Well, you got Super Saiyan, so having Kaioken, it's kind of a, in some ways, kind of, re well, actually, no, it's not redundant, because it, it gives you max damage on one attack, but G give me a moment and take a look through here, because yeah, I, I, I want to see what kind of powers you can manifest right now. You can manifest up to third level. You can manifest up to third level. Yeah, I will give you as a special bonus. I will give you a. Uh, I will give you a fourth level, and I will check to see if Kaioken is fourth level. Um, if it is, uh, if it is, great. If not. Sure, uh, 
so after building my new armor, can I sell off the uh, old cargo harness for like half its space price? Yes. Let's see that. Uh, Kaioken and Kaioken is key math is uh, level five. It is uh, fifth. Um... Damn it! I wanted Kaioken. <laughs> You know, you know what? Yeah, since you are training training with the Kai's, honestly, that does kind of make sense uh, to go with Kaioken. So you know what? I'll allow it. I love you. <laughs> yeah. I'm now. All right. Uh, I now just realized. Alrighty. Uh, Be working with. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign off here uh, from Twitch. I got a follower today. I'm one away from my goal. One more follower, and I'm going to be able to dress up like Sailor Uranus and play Sailor Moon games. I'm so happy. Um. For all of you who watched, thank you. Uh, if you haven't already followed, please consider it. Uh, I do also have donation goals because I kind of like eating. And I don't I have a very good shot at a jo job right now. Uh, very likely about to get a job. But I still, need to, uh, I still need to be able to eat. I still need to be able to keep the internet on. And I also need to get a copy of my birth certificate, apparently. I've moved quite a bit so anyway for all of you thank you for wa watching and following and whatnot until next time the shadow style dojo is closed <laughs>